Greetings to you once again, my brothers and my sisters in Christ Jesus. Greet you in that name that's above every other name. The name of Jesus Christ. Every knee bows, every tongue confesses. He is the one that showed us the way, gave us an example of what life is and what who we are in our Creator. Showed us the way, gave us a true and living example of who we are. And who are we? Well, we are... Um, we are an extension of our Heavenly Father. His prayer that they may be one in us, as I am in the Father and the Father is in me, that may, they may be one in us. So we are one with the Father. And we have in us His creative ability to create. Now, this is something that it's important that we all understand this because when you understand this, you'll also understand why the world is what it is. The, the human being, that which is human, has within himself, herself, that creative power, creative nature, the light of God inside of them. And we create, by sheer nature of our existence, we create. And so what the world does is in order to, to create the world and the world system, it has to get us and siphon off us, siphon the energy off of us to create it, and to get us to focus our energies, our abilities, our thought processes into creating that system. Do you ever wonder why this, all the news is bad? Do you ever wonder why, with all the things they could talk about going on in the world, that the focus of everything is, here's one more thing to be afraid of. Here's one more thing to, to get mad at. Why there's no focus on that which is beautiful, that which is lovely, that which is of good report, all the things that we can be grateful of, all the successes that are there. No, what's the focus? To keep us as created beings in fear and in order to push us into also replicating and creating circumstances and situations of fear. They use human us, God's creation, to create their system. And when we stop doing that, that thing stops. You know, with the Human 2020 initiative, when we spend time and we come together like that for 20 minutes on the 20th of every month, and we've seen the entire world shift. Now there's other things that have been going on. We're not the only people that are engaged by any means. But we've been riding that wave of light. Doing what the what we've been quickened by our creator to do. In concert with him. And as we've done that. We've seen the incredible cosmic shifts taking place on this earth. Now, that's just 20 minutes once a month. But we've been serious about it. We've focused. We've come together. We That which God put within us, our creators put within us, to create. And when we have put that together and combine that together, we've seen incredible things shift. Now, things have gotten, in a lot of ways, very much stirred up, and a lot of times, <clears throat> say when a patient is getting healthy, or, or treating a disease, dis-ease, in their body, <clears throat> when those kind of things have come up, you know, a lot of times somebody will have what's called a health crisis, 
where when things are being flushed and things are being exposed, it'll actually get worse before it gets better. And we've definitely seen in recent times things getting seemingly on the surface worse. But this is all before things get better. Now, we need to also snap into a whole nother level of our engagement. Where do we focus? Where is our thought process? Where is our time spent? Where is our mindset? What do we believe? What do you believe? Do you recognize that when you are, when you set your focus, when you set your heart, when you engage in the realm of spirit, that things change? Do you recognize that as you do like Christ Jesus did, you will see and have seen similar results? Is that, is that surprising to you? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be surprising to us. It shouldn't be something that's dramatic. It just should be our lives. Once you realize who you are, once you realize who you are, that changes everything. And this is why the enemy wants to keep you away from understanding who you are. All right, here's another thing too. <laughs> that which is the, of the enemy, that which is of the demonic, in order for it to, to survive, it needs to feed off of us because we are the ones with the with the with the source of life flowing through us okay words of Jesus I'm the vine you're the branches right if any man remain in me and my words in him he'll grow and bear much fruit right okay great wonderful so that's who we are and there are branches that are broken off withering and dying so how do they get any life in them? Well, they've got to steal it from you. They've got to siphon it off from you. That's the only way. It's the only way. And so in order to do that, they need to get access. And they get access through our consent. They get access through, because we allow for it. We allow for the falsehood. We allow for the illusion. We allow for the complete... Um, lie to be perpetuated we engage in that lie how often do we make compromises with the truth go along to get along why do we do that we know within ourselves that that's wrong listen stop Stop making compromises with the enemy because you water down that which is your destiny, that which is your eternal reality. Don't make compromises with the enemy. Stand on the rock. Stand in the truth. You know, listen, it may, it's going to cost you something for sure in the short term, but my gosh, the long-term results are so much better. But it's going to cost you something in the short term. There may be some discomfort as a result of taking a stand on that which is true. There may be some uncomfortable situations because of who you are and who you choose to be. Aligning which is that which is real. Not going down the path of anti-human, anti-Christ. Listen, the, what the world builds is anti-human. It's against humanity. There's a reason that they try to keep everybody in the lower frequencies. Everybody focused on those base levels of existence. Survival, food, water, clothing, shelter, medical, um, sensuality. Those are all base things. Yes, they're part of the human experience, but that's not where you want to spend your entire experience in your existence but they need to get people to those base levels so that they can drain the life out of them 
But what God would do with you, what our Creator would do with you, what the source that has given us life would do with you, is have you be one in Him and move up. When you exist in a higher higher way of being and a higher focus, they can't latch on to you because they can't exist in those levels. You understand? They can't be there because they don't exist in that level. They need to bring you down to where they are because they can't come up to where you are. So all of the propaganda through media outlets, all of the propaganda, all of the people that are bought into their thing, all they do is try to bring you down to that base level. Because in that base level, that's where they can actually um, drain life off of you. And if you don't go into those base levels, they can't. They can't access you. So God's calling His people to to step up and to step out. We step up by having our being focused on a whole nother plane. We engage in a whole nother level. And we step out. We step out. Now, stepping out for us is, okay, I choose to exit. As much as in me as possible, I am going to choose to exit from their system. I'm choosing to not allow my labors, my energies, my thoughts to build their thing. Rather, I'm going to focus who I am on engaging in what the Father has designed me to do and to build His thing. Because we need to. We need to be focused on building His thing. Building that which our Creator has designed us to do and to be. This is not the time to be trying to save your life in this world. You try to save your life in this world, you lose it. You lose your life for the kingdom, for the truth, for that which is real. You find it. What does that mean? Well, you, when you are one in Him, there is no more you. And yet you are fully who you were meant to be. There is no more you apart from Him. And yet you are, when you're one in Him, that's who you truly are. Now He will quicken you. And you will be quickened within your spirit to do things, to create things, to be engaged in all kinds of different levels. And listen, when it comes to resources and all the rest of that, you will be quickened within your being. You'll have instincts that will, that will be quickened within you. Engage in that. Use that. You can, you can create more in 10 minutes than you can in an entire month. You, ten minutes in connection with the Father, in connection with who you were meant to be, who you truly are, than you can do in a month, two months, a year, by being part of the world. They get you to exchange your freedom for slavery, and then they give you scraps. And they want you to say thank you for that. All the while draining the life out of you. That's not who you are. You need to recognize who you truly are and move in that. There's such a need in this time for the real ones to rise up and recognize your ability, your power, your destiny to create and to be a part. Listen. All of this end times programming and all the rest of that stuff, it's just a program, all right? What this is, this is a continuum. And you are, I am, right now. You, it's a continuum, and what matters is what you do with this moment. You are not powerless 
by any means. You have all the creative power of the entire of that which created the entire universe is coursing through your being. And that creative power can be brought to work and brought into effect in what you're engaged in right now. So do it. Bring that in. How do you envision that which is, is to be? What would you create? Well, why not? You're made in God's image and likeness. He created the entire world. Wasn't a huge thing for him. It was beautiful. It was his creation. But there's no limits with him. There's no limits with him. There should be no limits with you because you're made in his image and his likeness. All right. So with that, we love you guys. God bless you. Drop us an email, faithmix at gmail.com. Love to, love to always hear from you. We'll talk to you again soon. God bless you. In Christ's name, amen.